welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys another Sheen haul, and it actually has been four long months since my last Sheen haul. And in that haul, I actually showed you guys how to pick certain items to fit your Apple body figure if that's what you have. I struggle so, so much when it comes to buying clothes and clothes fitting correctly. Anytime I gain weight, I gain it in my midsection. I did leave off though in my very last video telling you guys that I lost 11 pounds doing the beach body workouts I was doing insanity and I just overall changed my eating habits as of today I've actually lost a total of 15 pounds. I am doing insanity max 30 still eating better So with that said, uh, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit different trying on these clothes because I have lost some weight and I have lost a lot of the the troubling area on my body here. I feel like I still chose a couple of outfits to fit an apple body shape but I'm super excited to try them on and see how they fit after losing 15 pounds so if you guys want to know how I lost the 15 pounds I will go ahead and link that video um, up here and down below so you guys can watch and I'm actually gonna start out with this shirt because this shirt is from Sheen and I think it's super super cute I'm gonna go ahead and just bring the camera down a little bit you guys know if you watched any of my hauls and you know anything about me, I love cold shoulder tops, dresses, whatever. It fits the black t-shirt look that I really, really like. Nice and casual, but with a little bit of skin showing. So this one, actually, I tied it right here um, just to be a little bit more form-fitting, which is something I used to avoid because I did not like form-fitting stuff. So anyways, it's really, really comfortable. It's, it has a nice stretch on it. It doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. Probably my absolute favorite part of this shirt is just the one open shoulder. Um, I feel like it would be really cute if I had both of them. To give you guys an idea, I am 5'4". I currently weigh 148 pounds and <laughs> I like saying that. Um, not to brag or anything like that. I'm just really proud of my progress. So anyways, 5'4", 148, 36 double D-ish, a little bit bigger, um, but yeah. So this is really cute, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a different one. I have this really cute cold shoulder, it's like a spaghetti strappy sort of A-line dress, and A-line dresses are perfect for apple body shapes as well. Um, just because they're nice and straight, it doesn't really hug onto anything that you don't want it to. It doesn't feel big or anything like that, but I feel like it gives me, I don't know, I don't know if I, if I like this dress too much or not. It just feels kind of drapey on me for some reason. You see, it just kind of, I don't know. I really like the top though. I think it's really, really cute. Um, you know, I could always tie it like at the side. I know there's like this style where you grab the dress and then you just kind of tie it, which you know what? I think that looks cute if I did that, if I just did like a little thing like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, so this is what we got going on. Hmm, I like the top, but I don't know if it's my favorite. I might do some alterations to it to not make it look so drapey. All right, so here is the next one, and I really like this one. It reminds me of something my mom wore when she was younger. I like the V-neck uh, neckline, and then just kind of like the t-shirtish look on this. So for the apple body shape, I mentioned that it was good to do like wrap dresses or the empire waist. And this one goes right below the bust line, which it brings your attention more up here than like down here. As you can see, this area on my body is not as, as uh, obvious as it was before, before I looked kind of boxy. Um, let me lift these up real quick. So it has a little tie right here, which I think is really cute. And I think what I especially like is the hemline on here. Um, it kind of crosses over. What baby? How about blue shoes? You're right, blue shoes with a blue dress, huh? You're so cute. This actually feels really comfortable. I like the length of it. Definitely does not go with these sandals. <laughs> maybe something a little bit cuter, maybe like some platform shoes, um, but I love this part. So I think I might just like pin it down a little bit because I feel like if I take the wrong step, it's totally gonna open up on me, like a lot. Um, so anyways, it has a little tie right here, the little belt. You could probably wear it without, actually let me take it off and see what that looks like. I feel like without the belt, um, it looks less bulky-ish, which you totally want to avoid any bulk around here if you do have the apple body shape. I don't know how many times I'm going to say apple body, um, probably a lot more. Hi, Bunny! Hi. 
<laughs> Do you want to share your shirt? Yeah. Tell them what color your shirt is. It's pink. It's pink? Yeah. And it's pretty? Yeah. Come here, say, look at me. Look at me. Come here, come show them your shirt. <laughs> you are so adorable, mi amor. You like my dress, baby? Yeah. Yeah? All right, I really like this dress too. And I think I already mentioned it. If not, I feel like I got everything in large. If not, I will definitely let you guys know, but I think everything I got in large. Let's go on to the next one. All right, so listen, I have not worn um, a romper in a couple of years and I haven't worn a tank top um, out and about in a really long time. I will wear tank tops indoors, but as far as when it comes to wearing them like out, I think yesterday was the very first time that I did that in I don't know how many years, only because I was so insecure with um, the weight. Before I get into that, I do wanna say I always get a lot of beautiful compliments. Um, I am the type of person that doesn't really know how to take those beautiful compliments in, only because I think I have struggled pretty much my entire life with um, the way I feel about myself or the way that I look. As you grow up, you know, you take in a lot of what people say to you. I have been put down a lot um, or made fun of because of certain features, you know, of my body or whatever. But I feel like there's still certain things that cross my mind of like this person said I look like this or this person said uh, I wasn't this, you know, whatever. You guys, you guys kind of get it. So just so you know, I do really appreciate all your beautiful comments um, and whether or not you guys think that I should lose weight or not or this or that, I feel like it comes down to how I feel about myself. Um, and so I know that everybody has their struggles and we can't see that. So I feel like I do exude a lot of confidence. I feel like it's just part of being in front of the camera. Um, but overall, like I, there are some insecurities and I'm sure I'm not the only one. And I just wanna share that because I always like to keep it real. Um, so anyways, back to this. So <laughs> it's been a really long time since I've worn, um, <laughs> this is so stupid. It's been a really long time since I've worn like a tank top out and about and <laughs> let's get back to the romper. Let's get back to the romper. So, um, this is really cute, like it's super, super casual, um, nice and comfortable. It's just like a regular tank top. It's not like cotton or anything like that. It is a little bit stretchy. Um, the waistband, even though it has like a tie right here, it doesn't, it doesn't like loosen up. It's basically just for looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie that up and then I'm gonna take this to the big mirror. So anyway, here we are. It's really simple, but really cute, um, you know, has a little short, so that's what a romper is, I guess. <laughs> um, elastic waistband, the sort of a V-neck, no, it's not V-neck actually, it just goes down like that, it's more of like a scoop neck, or crew neck, or what type of neckline, neckline is this? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I think this one is in large. Also, thumbs up. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, so let's get on to this one. You guys, I needed some new cute workout outfits and this was a set, so I thought I'd get this one. I gotta be honest with you, the top is really cute minus the pads that are just like everywhere. If you take these pads off, there's zero support. I am actually wearing my bra underneath this, just, you know, <laughs> I don't wanna show all my goods. Um, so yeah, these little pads are just all over the place. This is not gonna give much support for working out. I mean, I could wear a sports bra underneath and wear it, but I, I don't know. I feel like it's not gonna do what I want it to do, so it's more of a hassle to like put it on because it's gonna like slip up anyways. But the leggings are super, super, super cute. Um, so these I'll definitely wear when I work out. It's like meshy right here. Oh yeah, you can sort of see my underwear through this, so I don't know if, I'd wear these to like an actual gym, but they're fine for my workouts at home. Um, overall, I like how they fit on my legs. I don't like when leggings get loose or pants are loose. Again, I do have um, uh, thinner legs, but I am building some muscle on them, which is really cool that, you know, I haven't had that forever. So I feel like these are really cute and comfortable for working out at home. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so we're coming up to the second to the last dress and I love this dress. So we have the plunging 
crisscross neckline, which I feel like I could pin down a little bit, but you know what? I feel like it's fine. And then you also have the cinched waistline, which goes right below the bust, which again, brings more attention up here than it does down here. Um, it's super flowy. It's a little bit of a heavier material, but it's, yeah, you're so cute, my love. Can you tell me about your shoes, girl? I got my swimming shoes on because why not? <laughs> Did you, ch you change your shoes from what you were wearing. Okay, let's get on to this uh, dress. So large, I think I already said that. Um, yeah, I think out of the dresses and the romper, I think this is probably on my favorite list. I don't know why, it just reminds me of stuff like my mom would wear. So what do you guys think about this dress? I like the color, um, I like the length. It's not high low, it's just right above the knees. And uh... what happened? What happened there? It turned off? Yeah. Okay, we'll turn it on in a second. Oh, here we go. Okay, so she's starting to get antsy. Let's let's get on to the last outfit. Um, let me know what you guys think about of this one in the comments down below. All right, so this outfit is what I was most excited about because I love this shirt. This shirt is an XL. Um, I kind of can tell by the way it looks online what's gonna fit okay and what's not. So I went up in size on this one. I love this. Okay, so the only thing is that I'm obviously wearing a bra, so this would be like, like uh, uh, I can't get it down because it's like crisscross bra, so I can't get that down, but look how cute that looks without it. We'll just leave it. Not like that, it doesn't look half bad. I love the sleeves. So it's actually, um, oh yeah, and then I have these uh, paper shorts that they're called. They're a little bit small, I think, um, and the, the waist is stretchy, but it just stretches in a lot. Maybe I'd go like a bigger size, because I think once you go up, it, it's a little cheeky. If I like bend over, you're gonna see, you're gonna see some cheeks, and I don't wanna show cheeks, you know? Um, so I think it doesn't look good if I lower it. These are supposed to be a little high-waisted. Apple body shapes have zero waist, so my waistline tends to be really, really high, making my short looks, making my shorts go up really high. So anyways, even though I think it still looks cute, let's go to the big mirror and check it out. You know what, I'm gonna actually try it on with some different shorts. Although I really like these shorts, they feel a little constricting for, yeah, they're, I think they're just um, maybe a size too small, but then I feel like if I go a size bigger, they're gonna be too big. Um, booty I have not, so <laughs> I, I'm not being helped. That's not helping at all. What do you guys think about this outfit though? I like it. Let me go try this shirt on with a different pair of shorts. Okay, yep. Still a cute shirt, looks good with jeans too. What do you guys think? Better with jeans than the paper shorts? <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to wrap this up soon because this little girl is over it. Are you over it, honey? Are you over it? Okay. All right, you guys. Shin ha. Over. Okay, let's go, baby. All right, you guys. So we have come to the end of our Shein haul. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know which one was your favorite outfit in the comments down below And then again, I will link everything down below everything was large except for this shirt, which is XL and You know, just make sure you guys look at the measurements make sure you look at everything before you um, Make an order just so that you know what you're getting into and then again If you guys want to learn how I lost a little bit of weight you guys can check out my last video or I will link it below and up here also Hi. Am I working out? Am I working out? <laughs> Not right now, but I am. After we eat lunch, and then a little bit longer, I'm gonna work out. You're gonna work out with me? Yeah. Yeah, cause you're good at it, huh? <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up. Leave me your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Say bye. Bye. Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> you wanna go eat lunch? What do you wanna eat? Pineapple? Yes. Okay, dame un beso. Te quiero mucho. Te quiero mucho. Mucho. <laughs>
from the get-go to the final. 